There he is. He smoked it, and he's still smoking it. Oh. River Ats, it's an absolutely beautiful morning out here on the water, and I'm tossing some lures around in new places, hoping to come across some fish, and I'm pretty jacked up on caffeine, so I guess you could say things are getting serious. So let's go. I do have my turkey hunting stuff with me, in case we get so lucky to hear one light up as we're floating down. It is a beautiful morning. I think I already said that, but Usually I say things multiple times because that's the way they are. The beautiful mornings are often the mornings where turkeys gobble. Apparently they missed that memo so far, but I'm gonna keep my ears peeled or something like that. We're just gonna fish this spot a little bit already. Didn't catch nothing. Looked like there's a bunch of carp in it, but we're gonna keep bouncing around down the river for at least a little while before we run up. Just try some new stuff before we go fish the old stuff. Hopefully the fish are where they're supposed to be. This spot's got a bunch of rock on it. And carp, apparently. Get into that good water clarity. Like it's good for walleyes, it's good for pretty much any sight feeding fish. Gets me excited at the possibilities. So moral of the story is, if we find them, we should be able to catch them. And if we ain't catching them, they probably just aren't there. Ooh, the shiners are jumping over there. Can't, I mean, it's gotta be, it's a sign. I don't know if it's a good sign or a bad sign, but it's a sign. I think it's a sign we need to move. Let's get rolling. I've never fished here. Kind of always wanted to. A little gravel bar. Mark some fish up here. They're probably catfish. Uh, saw a few here. I'm hoping they're white bass or wipers or walters. Lots of dubs. Hopefully I, I catch some. That'd be a dub. A little shiner jumping. Five casts, maybe 10. Do five right here and then 10 a little further down. See if there's a turkey around. Ofer. Bum dog. Moving. Well, they appear to be here. I just realized the water's dropping. Not ideal. But that's one thing about fishing the Midwest. It's either up or it's down. There's not a lot of middle ground. Mm, that might have been a bite like a weird bite, or I bumped into a fish. Probably should have set the hook. You know, hook sets being free and all. Bomb one up over there, or try to. So impatient, I need to get more patient. Feel like it should happen immediately. And it's not, and I'm growing impatient. I'm basically a toddler trapped in a grown man's body. try over there. Hmm. I don't know what to think right now. I thought this would be easy. I am very incorrect. Might downsize maybe. Time of year is right, water temps are right, water levels right, water clarity is right. Fish aren't here. Huh. There's one. I'm not crazy. 
I kind of I know where at least one is at. And he's actually a pretty darn nice one. Sweet. He hit it very tentatively. It's also a larger bait. Like I said, I might downsize. But that's sweet. The spoils of spring. Crappies, white bass, mushrooms, turkeys. It's like, I wish there was 38 hours in a day. I don't know why I thought of 38. It's more than 24. I wish there was more than 24 hours in a day so I could do this more often. It's hard to fit it all in. See you, buddy. Who is calling me? I'm in the middle of a cast. Let's see if I can do both. Might have just missed one. Oh, it's my grandma. Hello. 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 Huh. She must have butt dialed me. I think I actually had a bite on that cast. Try it again. So white bass are fun. I'd really like to get into some wipers. There he goes. He crunched it. Thank you. That was magnificent. Not a wiper, but a larger specimen of a white bass. Oh, he is angry. I like it. He's going under the boat. See, the smart fish are very dumb. Big white bass, I think. Yeah, just a trog of a white bass. Okay, hook good. <laughs> oh man, that's not a wiper, but that's about as close as you get without being one. Man, he crunched it. All right, we'll put you back, bud. You are a beefcake, though. See ya. Okay. So we're kind of getting in the zone a little bit. Maybe, maybe they just needed a second to chill out after I came in here. But that was, that was a portly one. So I'm throwing a, a welterweight on a blade with a blade right now, which is solid. I mean, it'll catch fish. It might, and it still might be the best option, but I'm gonna try a smaller one, lightweight with a smaller blade. Alrighty, just kidding. I have no lightweights in the boat, but I do have a small fluke. So, similar style bait, similar size to what I was wanting to throw. We'll give it a rip. Still fishing an eighth, smaller blade. It's kind of funny that guy has his own line of lures and <laughs> ran out. Um, I don't know. We'll throw her up here. I haven't thrown the small one up there. Oh, what is going on? Oh, I got whacked. That was a weird bite. So lure is fishing weird. It rolls, okay. That blade is just pulling that hard. Impressive. I want to feel one of them no doubters like that last one. I don't like how hard this lure pulls. We're going to swap it out for something different. It's fishing weird. All right, we're trying this little light dude. If I can even get it there. Yeah, it casts pretty decent. There we go. That's the little bugger who's been picking on me. That would explain why they weren't eating the bait. Because <laughs> the other baits were too small or too big. They do get bigger than that. I guess you've already seen it. Oh, there we go. He hit it like three times. All right, we downsize lures. And we're upping our catch rate. 
Yeah, I think they're just eating them tiny shiners. And Ooh, yeah, that's a nicer one. Just got to figure out what they want. Yeah, that's a nice one. I sound perplexed. It's because I am. These fish are funny. They get tuned into size more than anything lots of times. But I guess a couple casts, a couple fish, doesn't guarantee they're going to start pounding on it, but they might. They will if they do. It'd be a lot cooler if they do. These fish might have been picked on a little bit too, who knows. There's definitely plenty of evidence that people come down here to go fishing. Fork sticks, baby strollers, you know, the standard. I think I'm only gonna give this a few more casts and we're gonna keep searching. For greener pastures and larger fish. There's one. That was nice. Oh yeah. He hit it like it owed him money. Yeah, the lure is in there somewhere. Yeah, he was mad at it. See it. Yeah, there's a few here, not a ton here. So, let's get going. Well, new spot, new hope. New lure. Well, not new lure so much as different size jig. Got a quarter ounce. It's quite a bit deeper, a little swifter. I need to get set up higher. Looks like we slid back. Say the current's ripping off that point. That trolling motor's doing everything it can. Yep, she's, she's tapped out. We'll get inside here just a little bit. I didn't want to get this close because I didn't want to spook fish, but you got to be able to position on them. Yeah, this will be okay. I should be able to present my bait a little more effectively too, even though I'm right on top of some of the fish. It'll be what it is. Plenty of gar in here. Not so much for the white bass or wipers or walleyes. They're probably here, they're probably just not eating. There was something on the fall. I don't know what you are. Now I do. White bash. I didn't feel it, I just saw my line bounce. Not as satisfying as the thump, but pretty darn entertaining little fella. Those boys are lucky I ain't catfishing for a few days. They'd be going in the cooler. They still might. I'm gonna run up and try to catch some shad and then otherwise we're gonna be keeping them for bait if I can't get any shad. Makes me feel better that I caught something here though. Oh no. Get out of there, thank you. Yeah. Current's giving me the hoodly hoo whippy dippies. All right, let's keep looking. Yeah, I don't know about this spot. It's hit pretty hard. I might have marked a few fish in here. I don't know, those white bass are tough to mark for some reason. Even the larger ones, at least with my limited fish finder knowledge. Walleyes, got them. Channel cats, got them. Flatheads, occasionally got them. White bass, like invisible sometimes. I'm sure it's something that I'm doing or not doing. Moral of the story is I'm not sure, so I'm going to cast and see if I catch something. I like it when they're just loaded and it's every cast. If 
I think of a more obvious statement, I'll let you know. There we go. Not the most impressive bite, but I'll take a bite. He's not a bad one either. These striped fish, you know, they're there for you when nobody else is. Except when they're not. Sometimes it's like, oh man, they're so easy. And sometimes, I don't know where the heck they go. Well, that's three spots in a row we've caught something. I will call that a success any day of the week. A lot's happened since the last time I had the camera on. Took a little break trying to catch some shad. Caught no shad. Did catch a sucker. So now there's two suckers in the boat. It also means we need to catch some more white bash. Because I have no catfish bait. This little pocket looks inviting. Apparently not that inviting. You know what's probably going to happen is I'm going to get in a school of like 5 to 10 pound hybrids and I'm not going to butcher one of them for bait but that'll be all I can find. What a problem would that, that'd be quite the problem. Alright, hopefully there's still a few hungry in here. There he is. Ooh, what are you? They say something about a hybrid. He smoked it. And he's still smoking it. Oh. No. I saw him for just a sec. He was big. He bent my hook out because I have a little dinky hook. I feel like I kind of called that one. Look at that. Not good. Oh, he smacked it. Playing around with 1 16th ounce jig heads with the light wire hooks. I don't know if they make a 1 16th ounce jig head with a thick wire hook. That's probably about as beefy as you get. Oh, he tattooed it and took off a screaming. Well, I'll put a different one on, I guess. Definitely gonna back the drag down. All right, let's try that again. Usually where there's one, there's more. Except when there isn't. Man, I'm just full of that dumb logic today. Uh, bending a hook was not, like of all the things I was worried about in the moments of that fight, bending a hook was not one of them. Usually them hooks treat me pretty good. There's one. Not a five to ten, no. Uh, it's just gonna say not a five to ten pound hybrid. Wow, he bent the hook out too. How tight's my, is my drag ain't even that tight? Aside from just being annoying that I'm losing fish, I'm also losing bait. I mean, granted, it's like the funnest bait you could catch, but nevertheless, it is bait. I should probably throw the big jig until and let, to see if they'll hit that and then only throw the little guy if I have to. That sounds logical. We're gonna do that. Oh, little carp got some air there. There we go. Oh, that's a hybrid, that's a nice one. Um, he's gonna be net worthy. Oh yeah, he's as big or, I don't know, he's in the ballpark of the one that got away. I'm a little gun shy now, oh no. There we go. 
Come on over here, buddy. Where'd he go? Pop up right here. Ah, oh, you are nice. Come on back. Pull off just enough line to uh, make it difficult to land you. Yeah, I saw him. It's so shallow. I saw him as soon as I set the hook. Oh, missed the net. Come back. Jeez. No quit. That's one thing I appreciate about him. <laughs> I don't think he's as big as the one that got away, but he's pretty darn nice. I'm like, why won't you quit? Oh, because you're big. <laughs> Pleasant freaking surprise. Oh, man. Little hubcap right there. That's awesome. He smacked it. Like I said, not as big as the one that got away. The one that got away might have been twice this big, but it's pretty darn nice. I don't know. I'm easily amused and easily pleased. And these guys are, I don't know. They don't leave much to be desired. They're pretty awesome. Okay, I'm going to put them back. Uh, not bait. Okay, bud. This will lay nice and strong for me, will you? Water's cold, you can go. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, I, I'm okay with that. I'll, I'll find bait some other way if I need to. <laughs> I'd like to keep catching them. I just can't get over how shallow water they're in in the middle of the day. Definitely not complaining on that front. I'm getting pecked on. Deep, 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 deep. It's Morse code for I'm a little white bass. It's pretty cool when they're in water so shallow that uh, you see the water move and then you get hit. I mean, it's pretty cool all the way around, so I ain't complaining. That was entertaining. <laughs> Come here, bait. He whacked it. Okay. We're going in the right direction. Eight more. It is weird, though. I haven't really had issues with these hooks bending out as fine wire as they are. I wonder if it, some of it depends on where they're hooked, too. Actually, I can tell you the answer to that, yes. But who knows where they're hooked. But if it's like, you know, if this hook goes all the way into flesh, it's hung there and it's not going to bend out. But if it hits bone, it's easier. It's got a longer lever arm to bend it. You know physics. Well, I'm going to keep chipping away at the bait situation. That was a nice little surprise at the end. Not a complete surprise, but, uh, I mean, they're tough to count on, and it's nice when they show up. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Couldn't appreciate it more that you take the time to watch. Like, it means a ton. Hope you catch a giant.